In this video, I want to show you how to map a lens that either doesn't have marks or the marks are just inaccurate. Sometimes when you use a certain lens with a certain camera, the marks are just off or maybe you're using an adapter between the lens and the camera. Um, this often requires a more manual process to map the lens. So I'm going to show you how to do it. What we're going to do, uh, I'm going to use a tape measure. I'll lay it across the ground and we are going to basically create some uh, manual or custom marks for our lens. To set this up, first thing you want to do is make sure that your camera tool is accurate. Uh, once you have that, I laid my tape measure across the floor. You can also use a long table if you've got one. Um, and then I've moved the camera right down uh, to the floor, looking across that tape measure. And then you'll see here that I've got the sensor plane lined up with the end of the tape measure. So now what we're going to do, um, I've got a Tokina box. You can use any flat surface. We are going to lay this next to the tape measure and we're going to go along and uh, create our marks as we map it. I know that this lens uh, close focus is at 11 inches, so I'm going to start at 11. And I'm going to go in, I'm going to create a new lens configuration. I'll just call it manual okay that's good enough so what I'm gonna do I'm going I've got my my uh, my box there at a foot now I want to get that in focus another good tip is to open up your aperture all the way that way you get a razor thin depth of field so we're starting at 11 inches. Uh, okay, I want to make sure that I focus. Yep, that looks pretty good. Now I'm just going to add that mark. Okay. And then I'm just going to go along here at the beginning, um, doing every inch or two. That's 12 inches. Oops, up. Okay. Let me go to 14. I've gone through, I've saved several marks. Um, I did mine in inches. It's probably better to do it in feet. You can do that too. Now what I want to do though is I want to check it. So the way I'm going to do that, I'm going to do a couple of different things. Um, first thing, I'm just going to set my box at a random spot here uh, that I didn't map. Let's do 54 inches. So, and then here, I'm going to go to 54 inches. Now let me back out and go to the timeline. Hey, oh, you know what? Before I do anything, I need to be sure and activate that lens. Okay. And we can just do it right from the screen. Um, all right, so let's try to get to 54 inches. I'm going to go to 54 here on uh, CC Lab. There we go, 53.99. And look at that. Got a sharp image. Uh, that's pretty good. So it really works pretty well. Uh, sometimes, in some cases, it works even better than using the marks on the camera. It, is a, it takes a little bit more time, but. Uh, that is how you map a lens that doesn't have marks or has inaccurate marks.